We're back here at the National Farms Museum here at NRA headquarters in Fairfax, Virginia. I'm with Logan Medish. Logan, we started. Great new exhibit. So much great stuff going on here at NRA Farms Museum. We started with America's Pistol Part 1, where we saw, contrary to its title, a whole history of pistols, of firearms going to America's Pistol, but they weren't American. That's right. They weren't but American. They were going to America, <laughs> one exec, one CEO, one inventor at a time exactly. to show off their wares at Springfield Armory. So, so give us a quick recap where we were and where we're going. Well, we started off overseas with some German designs of the Borchardt, the Luger, the Mauser, and good guns. They're very popular in World War II, uh, so we're going to see them again, but they're not America's pistol, as we've said before. So now we come back to this side of the pond. We're going for the, the trials in 1911. Uh, and we get these guns that are going to go head to head in a true smackdown show. So off. it was the 1911. Now, what years were this? Ha were the, were the actually trials went on for how yeah, long? Yeah, there were travels, uh, trials in 1907 and 1910, but the big Mac Daddy trial comes March 15th, 1911. Hence the title. Hence the title. And so we have two guns that are going to head to head. We have the Savage, and the Colt, and they come in. This is Savage serial number four. That's the one that's going to get used in the trial. And Colt, serial number five, that's going so, to get used in the trial. So, you know, just a short lesson on, on manufacturing. You have to tool, make tooling for all this kind of stuff. So how many of these would you actually produce for this trial? Uh, Approximately. They brought over 200 of them okay, for so each it's, one of it's these. It's a pretty good run. Yeah, pretty good run. And uh, these were the ones that went head to head. These are on loan for the exhibit from the National Park Service Springfield Armory National Historic Site that has loaned them to us to put them on display here. So this is a serious commitment by the Savage and Colt when you're making these to, to tool to make the design and to, and, and to make 200 or so of these firearms. Absolutely. And it's a grueling trial. Over the course of 12 hours, they're going to fire these guns six thousand rounds through them after each hundred round interval they have a five minute cooling off period after each thousand round interval they get a nice good cleaning and for the first thousand rounds or so they both function flawlessly things are looking good for savage things are looking good for colt but it's after that thousand round mark that things literally start to fall apart for savage uh -oh. And it's not going so well. There's a lot of breakages and pieces aren't just act, they're just not acting right. And there's some issues with that gun for the remaining 5,000 rounds. Mm. But the Colt, not so much. That chugs along for 6,000 rounds and is impeccable. It performs wonderfully. And the military is very pleased with that gun. And so just a couple weeks later, on March 29th of 1911, the Secretary of War announces that the Colt 1911 in 45 caliber is going to be the new sidearm for the United Whoa. States military. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a John Moses Browning design. How do you argue with a man whose middle no. name is Moses? You know, it's, he's creating quality stuff here, you know? Yeah, and, and, and what a great decision that was. Absolutely. What, what an iconic firearm that is for both people in the military and for so many others who have enjoyed that, that design. Definitely. So stepping back a little bit, talking about the trials, would they have test fired this? It just is something that just they didn't see know was going to happen, or well, they you just had, like, literally don't know until you put that many rounds. They had gone through some other tests, and they'd ask Savage to make some changes here and there and tweak it and this and that. But six thousand rounds is a substantial That's test brutal. that it had not been through before, and they they just didn't know until they had tried it with these. Uh, and obviously it didn't turn out so well for them. So well, they were very wise, the folks who, who, who destined this, to, to give it that kind of grueling. Because we know what kind of grueling life a lot of these farms want to, especially during wartime. Definitely. It has to be willing to upstand, you know, withstand 6,000 or more rounds in the heat and the mud and the muck and the right. dirt and the grime. You know, American military, they're, they're gritty individuals, and if the gun can't handle it, it's no good to us. Yeah, and, and how long, that thing was in service for a long time, it's the official, still in service still, still people use them, own them personally oh, for competition, absolutely. for everything. But, but decades, decades, decades yeah. the 1911 was in the holster of the servicemen here in the United States. Wonderful wow. gun. America's pistol, really cool stuff. It's just so neat to stare at things. That, what's that? You said number four and number five? Number four and number five. And I mentioned that there were you know, breakages and stuff going on with the Savage. So the Savage actually still has oh. some mixed serial number components in there from when they were switching things out from other guns to make it work oh again. My. So cool. But the Colt, 
That's serial number five, through and through. No changes there. Wow. Okay, that's all I can say about it as well. Okay, how do you come and see these firearms? <laughs> these are on display at our America's Pistol Exhibit opening up this summer, 2015, in the NRA National Firearms Museum here at NRA headquarters in Fairfax, Virginia. You can also find us online at nramuseums.com and social media, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, we're all over it. We've got you covered, whether it's in person or online. So there's no excuse to not come check out these wonderful exhibits. Logan, thanks for these great segments. Thanks for being here on NRA News on Curator's Corner. Thanks for having me, John.